All right, well, um, our Where We At segment today, a lot of you got it and you figured it out pretty quickly, but for those who didn't get it, take a look at Where We At today. It's the totem pole outside of Papa Joe's Pizza across the street from Boise State on Capitol Boulevard. So why is there a totem pole outside of an Italian restaurant in Boise? Well, the building actually dates back to the 1930s and it's housed a lot of businesses over the years. In the 1960s, a business by the name of the Totem Insurance Agency, they opened up shop right in that spot. According to the Idaho Architecture Project, there are several varying opinions and stories of where the totem pole actually came from. As one story goes, the owner of the agency, Ed Madgen, he loved Alaska so much that he had an authentic totem pole shipped to Boise from the Tlingit tribe in Alaska. Tlingit, it means the people of the ties. But there is another theory out there, and this is probably more of an accurate one. It claims that the totem pole is not authentic and was actually carved by a man named Gordon Watkins. And if you look closely enough at the totem pole, the name Gordon is carved into the bottom of the totem pole. So what we do know, the totem pole features a wolf, a beaver, a man with a fish, and an eagle. So next time you're enjoying a nice piece of za over on the patio at Papa Joe's, make sure to check out the Native American totem pole and see if you can spot the interesting signature. All right, so go support local business. There you go. Well, let's take a look at some of your comments to wrap up here. Jason says, is the Idaho legislative session typically shorter than other states? It depends on the year. Technically, Idaho is only a part-time legislature, so it will be a lot shorter than some of the bigger states that have year-round sessions. But a great question there. Uh, this person says, nice work, nice work on the correct pronunciation of Cine DA drives me crazy after two years of high school Latin. Yeah, thank you, Rex. Cine DA, that's how you do it, folks. We got the expert here. Uh, this person says, Rick says, love Curtis Steigers in the song Swinging at 10th and Main. It's awesome. Yeah, really fun look back. I had never seen that story before, so fun to me to see that as well. And this one from Kat, this is a good one to end with. She says, you're all at Papa Joe's, we were. She says, she worked there for almost nine years and met my husband there who worked there for 18 years. Our son took his first steps all over the place. So many good memories and great connections with folks. And yes, now we know a little bit more about the history, about the totem pole. What a great time. Do we have one more here? This person says, Joe, geez Louise, watch your language. This is a family show. It's a family show. And the family show returns tomorrow.